Hello, and welcome to HPE VM Essential Software. Let me show how easily you can manage your entire virtual estate, whether it's VMware or HPE. We start on the dashboard with an at-a-glance view across both our VM Essentials environment and our VMware vCenter environment. From here, we'll show you how easy it is to provision a VM. Clicking on provisioning and instances, we'll go in and add an Ubuntu instance of a VM. Clicking add, I'll search for the Ubuntu VM. Notice how from the single template, I can choose to provision it in either vCenter or VM Essentials. I choose HPE. From there, I name it, choose the environment, and then click next to make the more detailed decisions. I can choose the version if I have more than one. Then I go to plan. Don't you notice how this feels just like provisioning a cloud instance? Then I can select network. Behind the scenes on the network piece, I have set up the networks, VLANs, and an IP pool. HPE VM Essentials can operate as a lightweight IPAM solution, whether it's VMware or HPE. On the host, I won't choose one. I'll let VME choose for me. Let's see if it makes a good decision. On the automation screen, I can set up tasks such as a shell script. I'm going to install my security agent after this VM provisions. If I wanted to set up snapshots or backups, I could do that here or later. I'll choose later. I complete the provisioning and we are off to the provisioning races. Let's click into my newly provisioned instance and see what it's doing. As we see, VM Essentials is doing its thing, provisioning the VM, setting the IP settings, and then it finally deploys the security agent. And we are done. Now let me prove it to you. In the VM, by clicking into it, we have our view of all the info easily in front of us. It really lets us see if there's anything we need to pick out or change. Now remember how I said I'll see if VM Essentials makes a good decision on placement? I didn't like the placement. So let me move the VM. It's a simple click on actions and manage placement. From there, I choose to put it on host number four. Why? I kind of like that number. So we're going to choose host four and then we're going to save those changes. Scrolling down, I click on history because I got to prove to you that it actually moved. The history tab is super useful on showing everything that has been going on with the VM. And voila, like magic, it's been moved. And finally, the one thing we love about VMs is being able to change the virtual hardware settings on the fly. So let's do it. Scrolling back up, go to Actions, we're just simply going to reconfigure the VM. Now I want to add more storage to the VM because I feel like I need a little bit more. So I'll simply add 5 more gigabytes to the root drive, click on Reconfigure, and bam, it's done. Scrolling down to show you my work, yep, it's done. And that's how simple and easy it is to manage my entire virtual estate from a single browser window. Thank you for watching.